Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, Alms. What's poppin'? What kind of backpack are you wearing? It looks like a ball sack. Uh, it's a, it's a dinosaur. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, when did you get that skin? That shit is tight. Uh, like season four, I think it rolled out. Dude, that shit is bad, bro. I can't get that anymore? Uh, it, it usually, uh, they cycle through, so there's a good chance it'll just pop up in the featured every once in a while okay. for the item show. So it's just kind of like hit or miss. Well, you guys were like super good friends for a while too, eh? Yeah, we were good friends for 11 years. <clears throat> I feel weird. Like, I've just seen like a bunch of interviews and now I'm like playing with you. So it's like... Yeah. It's like I definitely know you more just it because is... of uh, publicity. Yeah, it is weird, but... I mean, it's new. F it's new for me too, obviously. You know? Oh, for sure. It has to be just one hell of an experience. Yeah, it is. I mean, everyone in my city knows me, but but they knew me before that. But now they're like, before that was just a fucking weird guy. Now they're like, hey, bro. Like, no, this bitch, shut awesome. up. You yeah. fucking used to look at me weird. I I went to a Dunkin' Donuts I had never been to, um, last week, and and this young blonde girl was like, hey, you're like famous, aren't you? And I was like, I mean, not really. And she's like. But you, yeah, you were like on Dr. Phil and PewDiePie, and I was like, I mean, yeah. And she was like, okay, well, it, like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't lead to anything. It's, you know what I mean? It's like, why are you telling me? Like, it's kind of like you and Bad Baby were the breakaways from Dr. Phil. Except Bad Baby actually, like her recent, like a couple recent songs are like, like I really like Gucci Flip Flops. I really like that song. It's weird, but I, I just, I can't hate it. It's just catchy. It oh, is catchy. Sure. And then she she's, has, she has good writers. Right and then her, her, yeah, of course, Atlantic Records, dude. Right Fuck. And then her recent song, uh, donation. That's, that's my best friend. Three dollars. Oh, th hell yeah, yeah man. But yeah, the Cash Me Outside girl has a new song called uh, Best Friend. I really like it too. I, 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 like, I don't want to, man. Me and my girl were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> my, my girl, like, just dis completely dislikes her, but the song bumps, man. I can't hate it. I can't. Did you guys, uh, did you guys see Dr. Phil on, uh, Joe Rogan's podcast? Oh, yeah. Did he really? Yeah, the first oh, question so Joe asked him, he's like, "So how do you feel about Bad Baby?" <laughs> and it was so he was like, "Oh funny, God, dude. don't Do get me." Doctor Phil hates that. Oh, he does. Yeah, he does. He ha he hates everything to do with that. But it's funny. It's like, dude, this girl brought a whole new audience to you, like, right? It's like, it's mutually beneficial. But I think it is. It like is. But I totally get it. It's the same way he doesn't like Bad Baby is the same way I don't like Doctor Phil. It's like, without Dr. Phil, PewDiePie wouldn't have noticed me. The community wouldn't have got behind me. So even though I don't like Dr. Phil, like, it still, it helped. It helped this this whole um, thing happen. You know, I wouldn't be doing this right now if it wasn't for him, essentially. And I think, like, he does play to the audience a bit, but you could tell that he genuinely does care about people. Um... I'll say that his staff cares. His he, oh, okay. He's got a great staff. I don't know Dr. Phil, you know. I only met him one time, what you see on stage, but um, right. his staff is amazing, man. I don't know I don't, I don't know anything about him, but I can say that the, the staff there, and I'm sure, that, how many people are watching? 90, 90, guaranteed there's at least one staff member watching right now. And I, I can say that I, I honestly, genuinely love the staff. Everybody. Um, it's just... I, I got nothing else. I don't want to say anything negative, but the staff was amazing, man. They're such, such genuine, real people. Like, they're just like us. You know, they're just trying to get a paycheck and, and they're trying to tell a story as real as possible. You know what I mean? And I, and, and I appreciate it. Like... There's nothing scripted. There was nothing, at least with my with my episode, there was nothing scripted about it. Dude, those, uh, the, dude, I wouldn't have wanted to go with those therapists, though. They did look like some serial killers. It, oh, was, it wasn't yeah. even about that, man. My girl wrote in asking for, for marriage counseling or some sh or something to do with relationship counseling. And, <laughs> oh, for sure. And, of all and, places, why Dr. Phil? Because it's free. It's free. We didn't have money for relationship counseling. Oh. Yeah, so fair enough. Damn, that's free? Yeah, Dr. F the, the production, the team takes care of everything, but fair enough. But 
You know, That's she hilarious. didn't get it. They want. She knew. She knew I wasn't crazy. Obviously, I knew. So obviously, I, I got to turn that down. So, um, <laughs> when you're so poor that you have to go on Doctor Phil because you can't afford a real therapist. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. And, and I, I think and I think that's what happens with a lot of guests is that they're looking for rehab for alcoholism or something like that. Goose, you want to flip around and land and uh, land in the island because you're gonna be a little short. Yeah. Oh my God, there's like a million people here. It's okay, land on this hill. We'll be good. What do you mean we'll be good? There's no weapons here. Yeah, I believe us. <laughs> what am I gonna um, wrench them to death with this thing? All right, follow me. We'll follow you. Here. We'll be Gucci flip flops. I'm, I'm going to this this Gucci flip flop shed. All right, I'm gonna find Gucci a Gucci flip dealer. flops. And I think it's slap slap your bitch in my socks or something like that. Uh, I mean, obviously she she wrote zero percent of that, but still. Obviously. Very good delivery. Oh oh great. Let's t let's take a two minute break. I need to I need a breather from that. I'm getting a beer. Goose is making me want a high life. Oh my god. I'm telling you, man. There's somebody that wants some some drinking promotion. It could be Aquafina. I don't care. I'll be drinking it on stream the whole time. G Just Fuel, baby. Hit him up. G let Fuel. me know. Who's Wayne G Fuel? Fuel G Fuel, E Fuel, F Fuel. I don't care. I'll drink anybody's stuff. Jet Fuel. Jet nah. Fuel. Gasoline Fuel. I'll drink it. You pay me, Let's I'll go, drink go, it right juice. here. Vodka, I'll spit it out my mouth with a little lighter, light it on fire, make it look real cool inside the house. I don't care. You pay me, I'll do it. Let me know. Am I family friendly? Fuck yeah, I'm family friendly. One celebrity that's ever died that's ever made me like actually upset, and that was Mac. Oh. Like when Mac went, I was hurting. Who? That was like the hardest. Mac, Mac Miller. Oh. Uh, you, know, you know who affected me, strangely? And I know it, it sounds super mainstream, but I have a special connection to it. Is uh, uh, XXX Tentacion? I used to live right next to where he died, so like that particular spot that he died in, my bike died in so many times because I've been a biker since I was 18, so that's t 10 years, almost 11 years, and um, I've been stuck in that same spot. So to see on the news, like that's he, actually really spooky. Where he got shot, like I've been there for hours and hours and hours so much and it's just so sad man because i know that's i know that place you know like I, that's where i that's where i shop like the motorcycle jacket i have right now i bought at that shop like and um and and I, at, at the same time i was also listening to his music i really liked underground stuff obviously he's not underground anymore but um and yes he has a bad history but i still i still fucked with his music I bet that was crazy seeing the photos and like all the footage. Of yeah, what? yeah, yeah. That that was the only place that I bought biker stuff. You know, Amazon wasn't big at that time. That was oh, that. Sure. It was over ten years ago. It wasn't big at that time. So, if I needed gloves, if I needed a jacket, if I needed a helmet, like that's where I went. So, like seeing the security camera footage, like I have walked all those same steps. Um. That spot that he was shot in, I've been there. I've been stuck there for hours. Like it just, I was like, damn, man. Like that's crazy. It sucks to be famous sometimes, you know, because oh, people, sure. people, people like follow you and like. Bulletproof cars are a, uh, a booming business. Are they? I bet they are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's a hilarious video of uh, like these this company testing bulletproof glass, and the CEO of the company gets inside of the driver's seat of the vehicle, and then his employee shoots at his face with an AK-47 and the glass just stops all of it. Wow. Even in the army, our, uh, our, the advanced body armor we wear doesn't stop AK-47s. They could be, they could be treating those boys better, honestly. The, it, the issue with soldiers body armor is that there's so many of us, man. The stuff that the government wants to put their money into is not our body armor, unfortunately. Tech, but yeah. About doing something a little more, uh, like, like anything like podcasting. To be honest, I hate podcasts, bro like listening to them or the idea of talking for hate i i time. hate listening to them and i'm glad you, that you brought this up because normally the things that i hate i end up doing um <laughs> like um i hate not anymore but i hated gaming my whole life man so to see me sitting in front of a computer with a webcam and lights 
and a microphone. Like, this is funny to me, you know? Yeah. I hate this. Like, well, stuff like streaming and podcasting just gives the full scope of who a person actually is. Because you see them, like, without the edits and without the bullshit. And then it, like, gives people to understand that you're, <laughs> you're just wait, a real guy. Wait, wait, wait. You know? Yeah, I know. But wait one second. Thank you, Hudson Su Suman. Or Summon. Thank you, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you think it's epic, man. Um, thankfully, I have people around me that are, are super cool. But um, no, I get what you're saying, man. Um, it's just it's the irony of life, man. You never know which where you're gonna be 12 months from now. You know, it's a roller coaster. That's for damn sure. It really, it really is, man. Like this was not my plan in life at all. But yo, the big facts though. Thank God you have your girl there with you for this. Dude, my I girl's can't imagine. My girl's am like, my girl's amazing, bro. Having somebody that's your partner in life, like like that ends up supporting what you do, like it's amazing. Um, yeah, this must just feel like a rocket ship, right? Hundreds of people typing you messages, you know, um, Patreons now. Like that's some big. Changes, it, it's man. not so much the hundreds of people typing me messages. It's the positivity that comes with the messages because before, oh, absolutely. yeah, before I went on Dr. Phil, I was having thousands of people type me messages, but it was hundreds of negative messages. You know, he, now it's like 99% positive. It's beautiful, man. It's, it's great. It gives, it, it restores my faith in humanity. Um, and if, and if are a good breed. they are, they're amazing. And if, and if you see any of my old Instagram videos, you'll see like, my negativeness fighting back to the negativeness that it was that was like shined up like that was like forced upon me you know and it's like it was just impossible for me to fight back with positivity i mean they were, it was just for sure i was being assaulted man i had to fight back in in, right. in any aggressive way and if you're not hurting anyone you should never have to be in that position for just being you you know that yeah just, yeah like, but if it, karma's if karma's real this is it right here that's nice, man. So, uh, where was the most interesting place you were stationed? Um, South Korea. I think it was pretty interesting. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I've been to over 26 countries, so... English is a second language in South Korea, right? Yeah. A lot of Koreans know English, um, but you'll never know. Because they'll tell you, I don't understand. Well, actually, a lot of countries kind of think poorly of us, I find, sometimes, when I, uh, when I speak online. Are you, are you speaking about Americans? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, if I ever, uh, hop on Omegle or something, I talk to some Yeah, yeah, on Omegle. yeah, but you know, you know why, because, um, so I used to live, I lived in South Korea for 14 months, and, uh, as a soldier and also as a non-soldier, so I got to live there on vacation as a civilian as well, but, um, to be honest... There's no crime there. The only people committing crimes there are Americans. That's a rough deal. It is. So I understand I understand their animosity or their reluctance to accept us. Oh, that um, totally makes sense. Yeah. But you probably come over, you're all bored, you get a little too fucked up, and you're rowdy, and you yep. just don't know the culture. Anytime you see on the news rape, it's an American. Jesus Christ. Yep. And they're military, too? Uh, it, it can be English teachers too. Okay. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not always. It's not always military. The big Catholic <laughs> priest type. Yeah, I was literally just about to say in Catholic priests. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's it's uh, I'd I'd say it's 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 just Americans in general, man. People vacationing, uh, military, and and like teachers that live there. Yeah, it sucks, man. Because, um. I mean, you'll you'll get. It's not uncommon to get in an elevator, and uh, you're at the mall, and people like get to the corner, and you're not you're not doing anything. It's just there's like this stigma. Oh shit! This is t this is cool. All right, dude, that moon gravity. I've never seen the balloons. So, Goose, did just like some South Koreans vent to you about the issues? Well, I was engaged to one for three years, so I hear about I heard about it a lot. Whoa. 
yeah. that's intense. Three years is a flex on us. I was I was engaged to my Korean for longer than me and Kaylin, so I mean it's it's a long time, man. So like you adopt uh, some of the culture? Yeah, I can read, write, and speak Korean. That's amazing, dude. Yeah. Well, I went to college for it, so. That's incredible. Yeah. When Goose is more of an intellectual than we thought previously. <laughs> Big fan. No, I, I don't know about intellectual, but I, no, I really like the culture and I, I went to college for it, yeah. Because that's what you wanted to do, do you think it came a little more natural because you were so invested? Um, I, it's not something I ever wanted to do. It's, um, what, what happened was, um, I met, I met my fiance and she didn't speak any English. So, um, I had, I didn't have a choice, but then to learn her language. That's love. If brother. I wanted to date her. What, but what ended up happening was the person that I fell in love with, which was her for her, her values and stuff. She ended up changing into my values to please me. Oh, and, for sure. And you want something more genuine. Yeah, I wanted. I want. I, f I fell in love with the Korean values and and respect and stuff like that. But she right. she ended up falling into uh, our hip hop. That bad boy. Our hip hop culture and stuff like that, and that just wasn't what I was looking for. So if you had to learn another new language, which would it be? If I could start all over again. Is that, is that like you... you're learning for the fun of it like no uh no person involved like if you just like is there like a culture that you uh that you could like just vibe with and, like, is it is this is this is this, like, is this culture oriented or uh or or business oriented uh it, the personal preference if you uh think you can make a lot of money speaking vietnamese then you know do that but, like what would you do first if like you had to learn another language and it was completely up to you, which language? Um, Chinese, Mandarin. Okay, that's a hard one. Yeah, I went I went into the army to learn Mandarin. So you took like a decent amount of classes then? No, I I I got dropped from the program before I started because of my credit score at the time. Well, you prove them all wrong now, Goose. You're paying. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a Chinese genre music that's like different than Amer besides like K-pop? Oh, you mean Asian genre? Yeah. I don't know anything about Asian music, man. Okay. Uh, I it, just think of K-pop and I feel like yeah, it's a Yeah, but in South Korea, like typically they listen to Kanye West, 50 Cent. I mean, it's not... Oh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool, dude. They just take it on. Yeah. Like, oh, that's probably like, oh, dude, we just fucked up all the other nations. That's what happened. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's exactly part. what happened to my girl too. That when I was there, uh, yeah, she just got taken aback by the hip hop culture here, and I didn't like that. But yeah, I mean, you go to the club there. I mean, you hear. Uh, Low pump. Low pump. Low pump is the, probably the most. When I was there last, which was a uh, a year ago, for fun. Um, Gucci. Gu, what's that song called? Gucci Gang. Gucci Gang. That was everywhere. Every club. Every five minutes. It was the first. Actually, Gucci Gang came out when I was there, so it That's was wild. everywhere. It was That's so annoying. Wild. Yeah, at, fir at first I was like, damn, this shit bombs, bro. Who the fuck is low pump? Like 20 times. Yeah, and then it was just like, oh, man, when is this going to end? It I'm sure it hasn't ended yet. Uh, he kind of he kind of stabbed himself or shot, shot himself in the foot with his last album. Did he? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, who did you look up to while you were on the other side? Like, it could be uh, anyone, like little pump hypothetically obviously it wasn't but i didn't i didn't look up to anyone no, no one around me knew anything and knew how to say anything in korean besides hello do you hello? think it was more lonely or peaceful with uh so many people not understanding what you were saying uh it was peaceful and then it became lonely <laughs> and then it became um a very amazing community um because uh i had zero american friends there after 
a few months and they were all Korean and it's just a completely different culture. Like when we go out to eat, we eat off of each other's plates. So you don't worry about what you order because you know that everyone's plates is is yours. Like everyone, oh, that's super interesting. Everyone shares the yeah, like. Oh, dude, I couldn't do that. What's up, gamers? You, you feel like that at you. first, but eat my food. I remember the first time when I saw another man that I didn't know reach over the table to eat some of my shrimp. I was like, "What the fuck you doing, boy?" You know, but <laughs> but that's uh, my shrimp. <laughs> that's my shrimp, motherfucker. You, how much? Do money to get on a game of squads with I don't I don't charge money to get it's just it's just timing man be active be positive and and then you'll be on on the squads man and that's it I mean we had a free spot a second ago but one of the other mods took it yo I'm gonna give that spot up to this man because I gotta I gotta be up early does he want to play with the boys because well, I still gotta be up at 8 30. Oh, okay well yeah let's pick him up all right, cool. All right, bless up, boys. All right, bless thank up. You, uh, See you, bro. You Love you. Love you too, Tyler. Love ya. Love you. That bro. wasn't Love Tyler. You, yeah. Love you, Holden. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love everyone. All right, peace out. See you, bro.